Today, I want to talk about a report from McAfee that details 60 apps found in the Google Play Store which contain the Goldelson malware. These apps have been downloaded over a hundred million times and need to be updated to the latest version or installed ASAP for your data to remain safe. Usually, when we see a report of malware in the Google Play Store like this, the offending apps have only been downloaded a few thousand times. That, in and of itself, is usually enough to make an attack worth it for the hacker, but this one has infected over a hundred million devices worldwide. These apps were also found in the South Korea One store, and if they have been installed on your device, then they have the ability to collect a list of apps installed on your smartphone or tablet, a log of your Wi-Fi networks, Bluetooth connections, and GPS locations. Once installed, these apps are able to click on ads in the background without your knowledge, and as a result, this ends up bogging down your CPU and GPU performance, slowing down your network speed, and raking in tons of profits and ad fraud. The bad part about this is that this malware has been found in many legit applications, and this is the result of the developer using the third-party Gold Olsen library. This library only gains the ability to collect most of this information if the user grants the permissions, but again, with this being found in legit apps that people use every day, it's easy for someone to grant these permission requests without knowing what is really going on. So here is the full list of Android applications found to be using the Goldosan library. I'll include a link to this report in the video description below. And you'll notice that for each app, there has the Google Play status column saying whether it has been updated or removed. If you find one of these apps installed on your device and it has been marked as updated, then that means you need to go in the Google Play Store application or the One Store application and update that specific app ASAP. This update will remove the third-party library that allowed the application to perform these malicious actions, and then you can continue to use them just as you normally did. However, if you find that one of these apps installed on your device has been marked as removed, then that means you need to uninstall it as quickly as you can. Google Play Protect does a good job of notifying people when they have a malicious app like this installed on your device. But remember, these also came from a different app store as well, and many of those do not offer these types of protections. So I would suggest that everyone go through this list manually, one at a time, to see if you have any of them installed on your smartphones or tablets. In this report, McAfee also lists the package name alongside the app name. So if, you're, if you recognize one of these apps, that's a good way to detect it. But if you suspect that you have one of these hidden in your device, then I suggest installing an app package name application from the Google Play Store and then manually searching for those application package names that you have in this report here. I will link to one of these package name apps in the video description below for anyone who is looking for a suggestion on which one that you can use. 
if you use a firewall or a DNS filtering program like Pi-hole, then this report also lists all of the domain names that were found to be used in this malware campaign. So it could be a good idea to block them on your network or your device to keep your data safe. This new report shows that even with all of the protection that Google offers in the Google Play Store, there are still going to be instances of malware like this sneaking into the various app stores. It's always a good idea to be vigilant about what you install on your smartphone or tablet. But this also shows that even legit Android applications can be caught up in these malware campaigns. So I recommend that everyone stay up to date with the latest Android news. This way you'll be aware when another such attack has spread through some third party applications. That way you will know what to check for so that you can keep your device and your data safe. And I'll do my best to make videos like these so as many people as possible are made aware of these malware campaigns when they happen.